Hey guys, it's me, Mike Sir. Um, I was just making this video today, a few days after Sonic Force Overclocks officially released, just because I've seen a few people having some issues with trying to understand some of the instructions and trying to actually get Sonic Force Overclocked set up and working. So I figured I'd make an easy step-by-step -step guide on how to actually do that. So let's get going. Step one, obviously, is to make sure you have a copy of Sonic Forces on your PC. We recommend for better performance that you install the game on your SSD rather than any external drive. You'd at least want 30 gigabytes of space available so you can properly install the mod, which I know is a lot, but it's just what we have to work with here. Along with the main game, it's recommended that you also have the Episode Shadow DLC, which is free, so it's as simple as just coming over here and clicking a button. Now, step two is to make sure you have the Hedge Mod Manager installed and working properly with Forces, which is a fairly simple to set up process. All you have to do is download the program off of either GameBanana or GitHub and ensure it creates a route to an easy to access mods folder. This is where all your mods for the game will reside. It's also important to ensure that your Hedge Mod Manager is fully up to date. And then what we want to do is come over here to the Codes tab and hit Download Community Codes, which will be important for later. Okay, now step three is just to download the mod, which you can do via these many mirror download links we have that you can access via our Game Banana page, which is linked in the description below. Now, it is a hefty download, so any connection errors during this sequence may actually cause problems when unzipping the files, so you have to download it fully uninterrupted for the best results. For those of you who maybe actually can't sustain the entire download, there will be an alternate download link being made soon that splits it into multiple zip files that can be downloaded individually. And this has been set up to where you only need to extract from one of them. But regardless of that, when we have the entire zip downloaded, we move on to step 4, which is to extract it all. Now when you open the zip, you'll come across this readme file which contains a lot of important information, such as this first point which is that extracting directly into the hedge mod manager might not be the best way to go. Instead, what you should do is extract the mod directly into the mods folder that the hedge mod manager pulls from. Now, you can find this folder by going to the settings in the mod loader and following the route to the mod directory as seen up top right here. Now, this is super, super important. The only program you can use to actually extract the mod is 7-zip. No other program works without errors, unfortunately. So make sure you have 7-zip properly installed on your computer. This should automatically apply to the zip file, but if not, you can manually right-click on the zip file, go to Properties, and change it to Open with 7-zip. Once you've extracted the full thing into the folder with no errors, and hit Save on your mod loader, the mod should now become visible in the mod list. Now, if you've read the readme, you'll know that you should not enable any other mod or code along with Sonic Forces Overclocked, as the mod already packs in numerous modifications to enhance the experience. So enabling other mods or codes could potentially affect the contents of the main mod itself. It is fully compatible with the FreeCam mod, however, so you can use it to take screenshots or just straight up cheap, you know, whatever floats your boat. Again though, make sure you come to the Codes tab of the Hedge Bomb Manager and download Community Codes, otherwise you won't be able to actually launch the mod at all. And finally, come over here to Settings and make sure you've enabled Redirect Default Save File. This will just ensure Overclock's custom save file does not override or corrupt your normal game save file. Now, Step 6, with all of this done, you can go right ahead and just play the game. Hopefully that does clear everything up, if there's something I've missed or there's issues you guys are still having, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to respond and help you guys out. Anyway, see you later and I hope you guys enjoy Sonic Forces Overclocked.